Kishimoto adds the Department of Education is adding 15 registered nurses to its staff to help with the response if needed. Meanwhile, campuses continue to get ready for students to return, teachers trying to straighten out their rooms. And Oahu School, one of them now thinking out of the box to keep its students safer by getting out of the classroom. Sam Spangler with more on that in the story that's new at 10. The American Academy of Pediatrics lists utilizing outdoor spaces as much as possible among their three highest priority guidelines for reopening schools this fall. That's just what Aikahi Elementary School in Kailua is trying to do. They might not look like your average classroom, but these outdoor learning spaces are what students will soon be using when they return. You can associate this as our biggest classroom um, within the school, well, however many kids that is, 20, 20 plus kids, if we brought them all out here at once, they could fit under here and have a class. More space and fresh air aren't the only advantages these spaces bring. We were out here on Saturday when it was muggy and it was hot at 12 o'clock, which could be the hottest time of our day um, during the school day, and it was wonderful. The spaces were cool. They're well lit. Um, they're inspirational. I mean, you can see the murals. They're just beautiful. On top of painting that mural, parents, staff, and community members chipped in with volunteering supplies, funds, as well as their time. Through a very difficult situation, um, you know, here at our school, we were able to say, you know what, this is something that we can do for our kids, and, and, it, and, and it's a feel good story. And we needed a feel good story. A feel good story and a good idea, according to Dr. Scott Miskovich. Absolutely. We should use our trade winds. We should use our outdoors. That's our ticket to getting back to school. And it's innovations like this that the DOE wants to see more of. What we are uh, encouraging teachers and principals and staff to do is to take full advantage of the entire campus as learning spaces and defining those learning spaces. Principal Frazier says that he hopes other schools can follow Aikahi's model and he welcomes other schools to reach out to him with any questions. Sam Spangler, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.